Hey guys and welcome back, this is Serge with another Star Made Ship Review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at another ship, but for the, uh, for the meantime we're going to be looking at this rock. Uh, because before we look at the ship we're going to have a quick talk about what I'm planning to do with these series. Uh, I'm going to keep the same old, same old, and I'm sort of trying to use it to boost some, I guess, of uh, my own um, coverage, as well as some of the people who make these ships that I want to review. I also want to make sure that people are aware of why I do these ship reviews. I kind of want to do these so that people are aware that, I guess, I'm not here to criticize, I'm not here to poke fun at, I'm not here to say, oh, I could do better than that. No, I am I want to look at people's ships for two big reasons. One, I really like seeing what people do, and two, I want to help people do better. Now, I know that sounds sort of snide for me to say when I'm not the best builder myself, but I kind of want to make sure that people... Um, know that I'm really just here to give my opinion on their ship, whether it be a hunk of rock like this with a couple of thrusters strapped to the back of it, or an A1 battle class cruiser like something that uh, St Skylord Luke would do. Um, ultimately, I want everyone's opinions in the comments below as well, but at the most part, the opinions that count in my videos are mine. And if you don't agree with them, that's just too bad. Because they're opinions I'm giving so that people can take those on board and hopefully do a really good job with them. If you don't like it, that's just not my problem. But if you do actually have the common sense to take what I say with a grain of salt and actually listen to the suggestions I might have, um, I think it would definitely help everyone as it just makes awesome ships. So we're going to go ahead and stop wasting so much time and look at this ship. This ship is going to get rated like all the ships that I do uh, in five, uh, in three categories, and it's going to be rated out of five for each of those. Uh, but first up, here's the ship. Let's just jump straight over to it here. This is the Paladin Claws Destroyer by Starboy. There will be a link to the download on the dock below. And honestly, this thing is pretty cool. Uh, but we'll we'll talk about it in just a second. I haven't had a good look through the interior yet, but I just saw it on the dock there, and I'm like, this needs a review. Anyway, first and foremost, um, the scores, if you haven't already been paying attention to some of my other videos, the scores that this ship will be scored on are as follows. They will be form, function, and role playability. Um, I'll go over what those stand for as I give it the scores just to say, take time, but hopefully you can understand what they stand for by just understanding the name of the word I just used. Um, so we're going to look at the form, and the form is essentially what it looks like. What's the silhouette? What this thing actually does, and how good its color palette and design choices are. Now, I don't know Starboy, uh, but already I can see he's got a great eye for detail. Absolutely great. Um, I, had, I haven't had a really good close look at this thing yet, but it looks like this thing is entirely made out of hardened hull. Um, almost entirely made out of, I think entirely made out of hardened hull, which, you know, that's a good tactical choice, I suppose. Uh, but realistically, um, not a great design choice. Colors and palette choice and separation and use of negative space and shape. Um, he's doing a really good job here. He's got a very organic shape at the front over here. Uh, this thing kind of looks like a bird, uh, <laughs> and in a bit of a comical way, these turrets on the bottom, I'm assuming they're turrets, uh, they kind of look like the feet, and this kind of looks like a bit of a seagull. Um, I, I don't, I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not digging the turrets. Uh, I like the turrets separately, and I like the ship separately, but together they... I don't know. It just seems like a bit much. Um, the turrets just... The ship just looks so cool and so streamlined and so sleek that when you look at it with those turrets, it's just like, and this sexy ship that's just streaming through the galaxy has gum boots. It has big yellow gum boots. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, Starboy, that's just my opinion. Um, I really like your turrets, though. They have so much detail. I don't know how powerful they are, but judging by the size, they look like they deal a punch. And hopefully the inside of all these are actually filled with um, systems as well. Now, this is all hardened hull as well. Uh, or advanced armor, as we, as it's called uh, now. Um, so I don't know. I don't know about that choice. This would be a very heavy ship. It looks like it, uh, but we haven't even looked at its stats yet. So 
Uh, well, let's let's actually take a look at the inside of this thing uh, in just a moment. Um, but I'll just want to go over what the other two um, scores stand for. So form is obviously how good it looks, how interesting it is to look at, how good the colors are, and all that kind of stuff. And honestly, scoring extremely high at the moment. It minus these turrets, although again, the turrets look amazing on their own. It's just really weird to see them on this awesome looking ship. Um, this ship almost looks like like the Normandy from Mass Effect, a little um, sort of, you know, in its own little unique way. So we'll have a look at the inside of this shortly. But the function is something I really want to talk about, and we'll look at the stats and specs and stuff of like that in a second. But this ship's function will be of a battleship, and already I'm sort of looking at this thing. This is not nearly big enough to be a battleship. Now, if you've watched some of my other videos, you know that um, the Oppressa, uh, which is my big, big ship, that is uh, technically a battleship. Uh, this kind of looks more like a, a, a cruiser or a, a frigate. Um... It's definitely not a battleship in size, but everyone's got their own sizing things. I'm going to have to do a video about my own personal beliefs and what sizes should be, because uh, they're probably very drastically different to what a lot of people think. Um, but overall, the outside exterior of this thing looks really good. There's a lot of small details, a lot of awesome little work with slabs. Uh, my only gripe is that they're using all hard uh, advanced armor. Uh, which isn't a bad thing as far as it goes. It makes it a whole lot more durable. Um, but it doesn't really make a lot of shape change or, or, or texture change. And it's going to make this thing heavy as... Um, we'll check out its mass in just a moment. But let's uh, let's jump on in the inside here. Now, I don't need to find the door because I'm currently inside the core. I kind of skipped that whole process. But it looks like back here we've got a hanger. Yeah, this is a pretty cool little hanger. I don't know what you'd fit in there because obviously it's so small uh, and you got a USD dock here which is pretty cool. Uh, I will say that the interior on this thing is a little bland, a little basic. Uh, we're going to jump out of the core in just a second though. Uh, this is interesting. Is that like a blast shield? Ooh, please tell me that's railed. If that is railed, that is going to be so cool. Uh, I like what you're doing here with the display module, with the pipes, that's really cool. Uh, and you got the blast shields up and down. Ooh, 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 ooh. this is gonna be cool. Let's uh, let's press this blast shields up. Yeah, that. Oh, eh. Is it, that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm a little disappointed because I was expecting them to like spread apart or, or or do something more interesting. Now I'm not. I'm not. Again, I don't know what your level of logic is. Uh, it kind of looks like he's um, dropping a visor, which is pretty cool. It's a cool idea, a cool concept for a blast shield. Uh, a little cartoony, uh, but that's that's just my opinion. Uh, ooh, and it and it goes backwards, and that's something that could possibly be fixed. Now, a bit of advice I'd add in here is uh, maybe have only one button, and have that button on a toggle or a flip flop which will have it go up and down up and down since this thing only really goes one of two directions you don't really need to have two buttons all you really need to have is one and you could even have an inner ship remote that connects to the one uh, which allows it to toggle between the two so we're gonna have a keep keep going down here and this is the entrance room which is also the teleporter room um, it's, it's it's still a bit bland bit bland hallways you need to really split up all the interiors done in hardened hull as well um, now, I don't know how old this ship is, uh, but if it is old, uh, it, this would make sense. But if it isn't, it really is hard to justify why you've only got one hull choice. Uh, we've got lots of hulls to use, and the interior hull isn't as important unless it's purely for PvP. Um, but this ship doesn't look nearly big enough to be a PvP. Well, maybe it is. Maybe this is a PvP ship, because... Yeah, this is just all systems. It's like no interior to this thing, and the interior that there is there is very simple. Very, very simple. You've got a, a, a hangar back here, which really doesn't lead anywhere, and you got a staircase up and down, uh, which is very bland, not very interesting. Um, awesome looking cockpit. You definitely see this This is the right stuff, using different blocks and textures. Got some pipes revealed. Um, yeah, that, that looks a lot better. Um, so we're going to pop the shields up uh, so we can have a look at the camera shortly. Um, but yeah, no, that, that just looks a little comical to me, I'll be honest. 
Uh, as far as the interior of this thing goes, yeah, I, I'm very disappointed. I thought there'd be more. Um, you know, I'm glad I didn't check first because I would have gone into that knowing I would have been disappointed. But I, I don't know, maybe I'm a little, little more disappointed now that there is obvious no interior. So um, I definitely like that this, this thing's probably got lots of stats. I will have a look at the stats very shortly. Uh, it's going to be heavy if this thing is just pure stats and pure... Yeah, this thing just looks like pure stats and armor. Uh, this thing is going to be a Hulk. Uh, so let's have a look now. Um, we'll go back into the core mode. Uh, no, we want to go back into build mode. We'll turn back on the HUD and let's look at this thing. So if you can see down in the corner there, this thing is... Um, 122,000 blocks in size, which makes its mass 17k. That's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Um, it's got... It's 227 meters long, uh, with roughly the same height and width. It's a little wider than it is. Uh, its power per second is at 2 million, which isn't too bad. Uh, it's got only 1 million shields. This thing is completely reliant on uh, armor, it seems. So that definitely gives some premise to the fact that it only has armor, um, because, yeah, this does not have the... Uh, shields to really withstand much of a of an assault. Um, I'm I'm looking in here and I'm thinking that this is a clock. Uh, oh, there's a lot of logic here that I'm not sure what this is. Is that what is all of this? It's got to be. Yep, there's an inner ship remote. Okay, so we're gonna hit that shortly and see what that does um, because that looks pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, no, no, the stats on this thing are pretty mundane. Uh, it might have some auxiliary power. Uh, may not, I don't know. Uh, it's th ratio thrust to mash is 1.0, so that's not too bad. That's really not too bad. Uh, means this thing is going to zip around a lot, even though it's so bloody heavy. Uh, but it only has 63,000 shields per second. That's a really low amount of shields per second. That means while you're under fire, you're only getting about 6,000 per second. Yeah, that's this ship, although it has lots of armor, I think this is going to have to rely entirely on armor whilst under fire. Now, I don't know whether this was built for PvP or whether this is even just... Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I was expecting this to be a bit more of a PvP powerhouse. Now, I haven't seen this in combat, so I'm not going to comment there. And I don't have the time to turn this into a combat video either. Uh, I'm going to have to just ask Starboy if he can hit me up and tell me how this thing runs. Um, and the comment does says it says it's as powerful as it is beautiful. Um, so it's pretty beautiful, but I just get a bit of a lackluster that it's as powerful. Oh um, man, I do dig, I do dig this red kind of like submersion line. Like on naval vessels, this is a part would be typically under the water uh, due to its buoyancy. Uh, so I don't know what what's under here. Maybe those are missiles. Are those missiles? Maybe I don't know. Are they attached to rails, maybe? No, that's all part of the main unit. It has some launch out stuff going on. All right, I guess we're just gonna have to play around with it. So, yeah, this thing is pretty okay, I guess. Lots of armor. We'll have a look at actually what systems it has. So we're gonna jump into the drive. Um, Camera view one, that's a pretty good view. I can definitely see that. Uh, we got a side view and we got a cockpit view. So we got one side view. Oh, that must be for the dock. Yep, that's the dock. That's See this, if it wasn't for that weird like visor thing for the blast shields, which I like. I like the fact that you've got rail blast shields in there. Uh, it just kind of, the fact that it just pops up like that, uh, it's almost like, I don't know, it's kind of like an action figure. Um, I was really excited. I was hoping like that one part would just like open up like a book and like the actual blast shield would kind of like split apart and then slide backwards. That would be really cool. Uh, but as far as it goes, that definitely detracts away from the um, silhouette because you've got this sudden uh, large thing just kind of sticking up out of the top there. Uh, but either way, and if, if you have it down, unfortunately, it blocks this awesome view. So let's just go back into the front view there and look at some of the weapons this thing has. So this has some missile computers. Let's look at the... Maybe this is meant to be a, a hitter. Maybe it's not meant to be a, a taker. Maybe it's meant to be the hitter. Uh, so let's let's see here. Damage beam at 14,000. That's pretty big damage beam. 
Um, damage per second is kind of not super accurate, obviously, because of the the fact that it is a beam and it's four beams. Actually, it's not actually that good because it's four beams, so it's actually split into four arrays. Um, where are those fire from? Let's have a look here. Uh, let's just get into this view here. So um, let's, where are these beams? They're all over the place. Um, damage beam computer. There. Uh, oh, yep, they fire. Oh, it's a constant fire. Okay, that makes a little bit more sense. That must be its main. That must be its main weapon. Okay, so it's, it has to get up close and personal. Uh, it's got a radar jammer, which is self-sustainable whilst moving, which is really good, which is expected because it has so much good, so much power. Uh, we got jump inhibitor. Uh, we've got what's this do? This is that. This is that internship remote that uh, doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Maybe there's some more inner ship remotes. There's a lot of jump drives on this thing. Maybe there's a chain drive. I don't know. There's a random pulse. Uh, no, that's just that's just meant to be over here, I guess. Um, we got a we got a nuke missile. Hey, coincidentally, there's that rock we were staring at earlier. Let's fire this nuke at that rock. Will it will it focus? Yeah, it will. So let's see how much damage this nuke missile does. Uh, looks like it's gonna do a bit. Ooh, it's two nukes. Okay, cool. And kablooey. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a bit of damage. That is a bit of damage. Um, let's have a look at the... Oh, no, I jumped. What the? Oh, that's a chain drive. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. You need to label your stuff. Okay, you need to label this stuff because that was obviously a chain drive. Um, and now I've just launched myself somewhere. Uh, so that's a chain drive. That's cool. I need to add one of them to my ships. Um, so I c give you props for that, I guess. Now let's have a quick look at this missile, see how much power that has. It doesn't look like it's very big. Uh, each unit does... Uh, what's that? About a million damage. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good. But they have only single shot, and they're gonna get shot out of the sky with AMS. Speaking of AMS, I did notice you got a couple AMS on the back here, uh, up and down, uh, but really nowhere else. Not that. Oh no, no. You got some at the front here, so you got a pretty okay coverage. Um, you're leaving your undercarriage quite vulnerable. Um, uh, not really, I guess. Not really. I would just like to see maybe another AMS sitting somewhere in the center here, um, just to kind of balance it out a little bit, because I just feel like a swarm is, you would have a hard time uh, with only 10 AMS on here. And your main guns on the bottom here, I'm not going to look at them, I'm sorry. I, I do kind of think they look a little ridiculous on this ship. Honestly, and you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Starboy, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to cut off these. Um, I'm going to cut them off. I'm going to cut them off just because I want to see this thing without the turrets on it uh, because I just think it'll look a lot nicer without those turrets. Those turrets look amazing, man. Yeah, look at that. Already, this thing looks a million times better. Like, I love those turrets. They, they look amazing, and the ship looks amazing, but together, uh, I don't know. It, it kind of likes... Uh, what's a great example? It's like chocolate and mustard. You know, you, they're both great things great great things chocolate and mustard but you can't mix chocolate and mustard together it just doesn't work and if it does sure that's your thing it sounds great i'm sure it tastes awesome uh but i'm not willing to put my stomach through that kind of turmoil and honestly man this this ship now looks awesome this it absolutely looks incredible yeah i know it doesn't have the big tarts on it uh, and honestly, there's not a lot of places to put turrets on this thing. Honestly, I would turn this, like, I would get rid of all this hardened hull. Turn it all into standard armor. Um, not, don't take it back to basic hull. I think this thing it, uh, would look extremely good without the basic hull. Uh, but turn it into standard hull. Upgrade the jump drive, um, or improve the thrust. And just make this a cruiser. And just make it able to, like, blitz through the galaxy at ridiculous speeds. Also got to mention this awesome antenna array that you got right here. Very, 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 very cool. Very much like it. It is pretty, pretty nice. 
Um, and honestly, your color palette choice, man, is incredible. So we're getting on the 20 minute mark and I'm gonna give this thing some scores. I know I've cut off the, the turrets, but we're gonna score this and I'm gonna be generous. I'm actually gonna score this based on without the turrets. Um, but I'm gonna consider it with the turrets, obviously, for the whole function side of it. As far as it goes, I wanna give it without the turrets, a four and a half out of five for, sh for four. This thing looks awesome. Now I wanna give it a five out of five. That there's two things stopping me giving it a 5 out of 5 for 4. And I'm not going to talk about the interior, because if it's a PvP ship, it's a PvP ship. The two things stopping me giving this a perfect score is the fact that it only uses hardened hull. And I'm not marking it down too much for that, because I understand that, hey, that's, that's a choice, that's a tactical decision. The other thing I want to mark it down on, though, is... Um, well, mostly, mostly that, mostly that. Um, I can't. I almost for, I can't remember what the other thing is now. Um, I guess it's the turrets. I guess it's the turrets. It's mostly. Yeah, I guess that's it. I think it's the turrets. Um, oh, that's right. It's the, the the visor thing. This this is cool. I really like the idea of having a blast shield that's removable. Uh, but when you actually think about it, I mean, this it's gone from awesome, you know, headwear to a weird accessory um and i uh, it just really detracts away from the overall thing i reckon you could easily just make it kind of split apart and fold down a bit or like just fold up or down or something else something else would make that look incredibly better because right now it just kind of looks like you pop the top off of it and it really messes with the overall um look of the the ship um but overall uh, and plus you need to kind of fix that part I mean, I was gonna say maybe not, you're not that good with logic, but you, you've got a chain drive in this thing. I mean, you gotta be half good at logic to do that. Um, and also, there's that weird uh, hanger in the back here, which I don't expect it to actually work as a hanger at all, just because of the size of it. But overall, I want to give it a five, a four and a five, four out of four and a half out of five, because I, I just really love the shape of this thing and the colors. Man, the colors are awesome. You got that perfect contrast. You've got the flare of that yellow, the suddenly yellow. And you've kept the themes going thematically throughout the whole thing. Your slab work is incredible. The small detail on this thing is nice. I'm going to stop blowing wind up your ass because I'm about to give you a not so great score for the other two ones. I'll be completely honest. So as far as function goes... Now, I'm going to do another video explaining this in a bit more detail because as far as function goes, I don't consider this a battleship. I don't want to go too hard into this because I could talk about this a lot. I have very high expectations for combat as I've come from a server and play with a lot of people that do do a lot of high-end PvP builds. And by high-end PvP builds, I don't mean they're just huge stat holes. Like, I have a huge stat ship, but it still makes room for the looks and the roleplay. It has so much unnecessary interior. And I just think that you can't really call this a battleship. I think this would make a beautiful cruiser. Absolutely amazing getting around ship. And, and like your primary ship that, hey, look, there's Starboy in his ship that he's always in. That kind of thing. But I don't know. I don't think it makes a battleship. It's just too small and not as formidable as I'd like a battleship to be. Now, again, that's my opinion. We can talk about that in another video. But the other thing I want to talk about is roleplay. Uh, so first off, I'm going to give you a three and a half out of five for the function. Because I don't think it pulls off the battleship status. If you had to call this something else like heavy cruiser, then yeah. Four, five, maybe four and a half, maybe five out of five there. But... Not so much. Plus there's those turrets, and I'm sorry, I just don't like them. I had to cut them off. This ship looks so much better without them. And don't chastise me for saying that, but that's, again, just my opinion. But, as far as roleplay goes, I'm torn. I want to give you a really low mark for not having any interior, but I also want to give you a really high mark because this thing looks incredible. Unfortunately, the looks have already been covered in form, and... I'm sorry, man. The roleplay on this thing, I can't get wrapped up into something that looks so mundane on the inside. It definitely looks like it serves a purpose, and it definitely looks like there's enough room in here for you to do some really interesting interior. 
Uh, and I'd like to see it. I'd really like to see you do some more interior on this thing. It doesn't need a lot. Just fill in these rooms, maybe turn this room into something. Maybe not have a hanger on the back here, because who needs a hanger on something this big? I mean, this small. Um, but yeah, the roleplay, I'm only going to have to give you a two. I'm sorry, man. I just don't see myself getting really wrapped up in how this works. I think this is supposed to have blinking lights as well. I've taken them into consideration on the form side of it as well, man, because I'm assuming they're meant to be blinking. If they're not, they're not. So I'm just going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Uh, as far as... Yeah, so that that's my scores. That's my scores. Um, what? Wait, what did I say there? I think... Well, either way, I think I said a two for roleplay three and a half for function and a four and a half for design or form so i'm gonna leave them down in the comments below we're hit the 25 minute mark i know i ranted about your ship a lot man but i, I love this ship this thing looks incredible and your color choice the palette on this thing it's beautiful now i might be wrong but i can definitely say that there's some sort of artistic skill or training or something there um besides long time playing on star Maid. So correct me if I'm wrong, Starboy, if you do end up watching this video. Otherwise, guys, leave your suggestions and comments in the comments section below. Leave a like if you liked this video. Leave a dislike if you disliked it because, hey, that's an option. And, hey, if you have any suggestions, um, if you really want to see anything specific, if you think I was too harsh on Starboy, let me know, guys, because you, your feedback means a lot to me, and I mean that very sincerely. Uh, anyway, guys, this has been these, the Paladin class battleship, quote unquote, uh, by Starboy. Uh, and I'll leave the link to that in the description below. And uh, yeah, this has been Surge. Thanks for watching.